Good morning, Daly. Good morning, Miles. Good morning, Sophie. It's Sunday morning and Alan's still asleep, so I'm going to read you a story. I'm still in my pajamas. See with the kitties. And the story I'm going to read you today is Ferdinand. Now, Grammy tells me that they're making Ferdinand into a movie, so I thought you might like to read the book. This is the story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot under the cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, oops, sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it here, where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him to just sit there and be happy. As the years grew went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. You see here on the tree, one month, three months, one year, two years, look how big he is. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. See them over here looking at the, the poster for the bullfights? And see how they all have band-aids and stickers and stuff? They hurt themselves pretty badly, didn't they? But not Ferdinand. He still liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. And they're pretty funny hats, aren't they? All the other bulls, sorry, there we go. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very strong and fierce, and picked them. Ferdinand knew they wouldn't pick him, but he didn't care. So he went to sit under his favorite cork, or went to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Look at him. <laughs> Wow, did it hurt! Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting and pawing and butting the putting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. See them dancing around up there? They're so happy. They're in for a surprise, aren't they? 
So they took him away for the bullfight. Took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. There he is sitting in the cart down there. What a day it was! Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. So they're peeking out there. We'll do it one at a time there. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the bend Benderios. Sorry. Benderieros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick the bull and make him mad. Next came the Picadores, who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the Matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. This does not sound like fun for the bull. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the Benderieros were afraid of him, and the Picadores were afraid of him, and the Matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. See him there out in the middle? But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies here, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the banderieros were mad, and the picadores were madder, picadores were madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he's sitting there still under his favorite cork tree smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. I hope you liked the story, and I hope you liked the movie, and I will see you later. Bye-bye, guys.